Hey guys and welcome to another Element video tutorial. Today we're going to go over the preferences and uh, just kind of a, a general overview of what everything does in there. So what we're going to do whoops, is open up the preferences here and we'll start off on the general tab. Uh, the first item in the list is the clock source. So right now we only have internal and MIDI clock. When you have internal selected, uh, Element generates its own clock. So when you do the transport up here, it's using its own time base. But when you put on MIDI clock, then the tempo and the transport will, will sync to that. Um, next in the list is check for updates on startup. When you check this, uh, simply it just calls out to the internet and sees if there's a new version available. Uh, scan plugins on startup. When this is on, uh, it'll just automatically scan plugins every time you run the app. Otherwise, you have to go into the plugin manager and uh, do it yourself uh, if you add new plugins or something like that. <clears throat> the automatically show plugin windows. Now, when this is on, what's it, what it's going to do is show the plugin window when you add a plugin to the graph. So, for example, We'll pull up a, a sampler here. I have it checked off and the plugin window didn't show because this is not on. However, when you have automatically show plugins checked, then when you add a plugin to the graph, it will automatically show that plugin window. Now, hide plugin windows when inactive is uh, maybe a little confusing to people. And all this does, so I'm going to close this here. We're going to open up the AU sampler. We'll get RoboVerb showing. It's actually on the other screen. Shrink this down a little bit. So what this does is, is when you click off of the app, it'll hide the plugin windows. And that's because they can end up covering up other applications, like if you're going into your browser or something and you need to work on something else. So let me go back in here and demonstrate that real quick. So now it's on and when I click outside of the app the plugins go away. And then we come back into the app they show. Open last use session. So when this is on all it does is it'll just automatically open up whatever session you were working on last and if it's off then it'll always start with a brand new session when you start the application. Ask to save sessions when this is checked on, it'll prompt you if you want to save your session, if you made changes. And when it's checked off, it'll just blindly save wherever you're at. So, And then this last option here, you can actually pick a session file to use as the new session. Uh, instead of doing a, a blank session, if you set something here, then it'll use that for new sessions. Okay, so next up is the audio tab. This is where you pick your input and output audio devices. Um, it's pretty simple, straightforward stuff. These two boxes. And then below that is the active output and input channels. You can actually uh, enable and disable specific channels on your devices. And those will show up. Oops, I can move the window out of the way just as a demo. See it goes to mono, now it's stereo. And then below there is uh, your standard sample rate and your buffer size. I'll just pick a weird one. Now go back. And that's pretty much it. It's just your, your standard audio device settings. And then next here is the MIDI tab. And what's going on is here is you can pick your MIDI output device. Now this will be the global device. Um, there is a video specifically about how to set up MIDI input and output. I uh, highly recommend watching that video if you want more uh, specific information. Uh, this right here will generate MIDI clock. Uh, and what that means is if it's on, Element will generate MIDI clock. And, and then below here, if this is off, the clocks will be sent directly to the MIDI output node right here. 
but when you check it on then the generated clocks come in to the MIDI input right here so if you need clocks sent to your other plugins and things like that you would want this on and then you know the clock will go across the wires you uh, route from here and then below there is your active MIDI inputs and again there's a, a video detailing all this stuff but uh, the short version is is these are MIDI input devices that get aggregated into the MIDI in here so if there are other ways to set up MIDI IO um, check out the other video if you want to know how to do all that stuff and then the last settings tab is the license and this is pretty straightforward stuff this is where you go to activate your license deactivate it uh, you can refresh and if you happen to be running the trial version it'll have uh, info about the trial and when it expires and things like that so that's pretty much it for the preferences uh, thank you guys for watching this video and stay tuned for another element video tutorial coming up real soon thanks Yay!